Hello, my name is JP, and my YouTube channel is called Kids Loves Math. Today's lesson, we'll be continuing to learn about place value. So we can extend the place value chart to the thousands. In this, in this case, the place value chart will have six columns. Let me write them down. Our example is 274638. First, does anyone, do you know how to say this? Well, how you say it is 274,638. So let's make the place value chart. So you can see in the place value chart that we have six columns and they're divided equally, three on this side, three on this side, thousands and ones. Now let us put the two, 274,638 into their place values. Eight, three, six, let me go to the one thousand, four, seven, two. Enter, we should enter, Anytime we are writing place a place value chart, we should always write the, no the, the starting number from the ones or, or from the right all the way to the left. We, we put commas to separate the thousands from the ones. So we, we, so we as you can see, if, when I wrote the number 274,638, you saw that I put a comma in between. Now that I've led the foundation with explanation and writing things down to show how place value charts are, are made and how it helps us, let, let us do an exercise. Does anybody know what expanded form is? An ex expanded form is when you take a number, I'm just going to write a random number here, is when you divide it from place value, so 900, because 9 is in the 100th place, Plus 20 plus 4. This is how we would write expanded form. So I'll give an example on the screen and we will solve it together. So the question is write the following numbers in expanded form to show their place value. Number A is 5, 3, 6. How we would solve it is, I'll do it underneath. The, as we see, the place value chart, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, So as you can see that as we are putting it in the place value chart, 6 is in the 1's place, 3 is in the 10th place, and 5 is in the 100th place. So the expanded form is 500 plus 30 plus 6 is the expanded form. The second question is 358. We already know this is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. So we would write it as 300 plus 50 plus 8. The next and last question, before I give you your assignment to do on your own, is 760. So how will we write it? You'll be thinking that we'll be writing it like this. 700 plus 60 plus 0 equals 760. Well, that is actually an incorrect answer. This is incorrect. Anytime we have a zero in any of the places, we do not write it. So we would actually write it as 700 plus 60. Also, the reason why, if there's a zero in the ones place, and the reason why we would not write it is also because 60 is already representing it when, when we write it in expanded form. So this is how you would write it. Homework is
The first question will be an expanded form. The second question would be finding the missing numbers in expanded form. Then determine the value of underlined digit. The last question is write the six digit numbers from expanded form shown below. A good example would be how we solved letter C. You see, you saw how we broke it up into expanded form. So it's like rewriting it backwards. So we would do 700 plus 60 to get the answer, which we got was 760. Remember, math requires consistent practice. Use homework to practice and do what I call everyday mathematics and source for more questions to keep up with the practice. Post questions and concerns in the comment box. And subscribe and click the notification icon so you can be notifi notified when I post the next video. Au revoir! Bye! Au revoir!